Hey everyone! Oh, look at that! Look at that, Bill. I got my uh, Ian Malcolm shirt on. So, you know, uh, there was a quote, and it's not verbatim, but I've been listening to a lot of Jurassic Park and uh, been watching a lot of Jurassic Park movies. Uh, but I've been listening to the audiobook uh, just about how sudden and radical change is we think is uh, beyond our control and whatnot, and it's not part of our everyday life, but um, he at least, he's a fictional character, but postulated by Michael Crichton to, um, hold on baby, uh, to say that uh, radical and sudden change is built into our system organically. Uh, breaking news here, got a baby. She's here, she's, uh, she's excited. Uh, she's had a great day, her brother's watching uh, some some uh, Plants vs. Zombies video. Uh, but with her right here, I just wanted to explain to you guys in this video, uh, you can look up your own information, your own research, but it had to do with co-creating uh, reality together. Um, it could go into any number of things. You can go into, you know, what does it mean that we were made in the image of God? You know, is that literal? Is it metaphorical? Is it allegorical? Uh, does it mean that we have the same creative process and creative faculties as God would uh, in the spoken word creating this existence? Uh, if you listen to Neville Goddard, uh, one of the main uh, things that uh, he postulates is that the imagination is the God self within us. Uh, and that through our imagination, we create um, whatever it is that we want to experience in our life. And it begins in the present moment, um, and then we're creating our future in the present so uh, saying that our present moment is actually past because the present moment was created by past thinking. And then the present thinking creates future present moments. Uh, so if you're dwelling upon things that exist now because it seems logical to your brain that, okay, I live in this house, I make this much money, I drive this car, I have this kind of health, all those sorts of things. Uh, your focus upon those and the, and the imaginative acts and the, and, and the self-talk that you have in your head in the present moment is creating more of the same in the future. So that's why from year to year, your life doesn't change much until you start to change your internal structure by feeling differently and thinking differently and having different self-talk uh, with yourself. Uh, so that being said, uh, one of the <laughs> best examples that I've heard is just radio stations. Obviously, you know, I've talked to a lot of people about this, but if you're listening to, for us, Cube 93, you okay, baby? You're listening to Cube 93, um, it doesn't mean that 99.9 .9 isn't playing. It's not being broadcast. That frequency isn't being broadcast out there. It is. It's just you're not tuned into it. So if there's a reality that you want, a relationship that you want, a car that you want to drive, um, for us right now, I would suggest, you know, having a, a world that, that, that is together and unified, um, you have to become aware of what you're thinking and more importantly, what you're feeling because your, your feelings are a reflection of what you're thinking because it's hard to feel sad or happy or mad or glad or joyful or exuberant or grateful without first thinking about things that elicit that emotional response in your body. And so um, if you could become aware of what you're feeling and what you're thinking, if those can be in alignment with something that you desire or wish to experience, um, you can create it. Um, and it just has to do with shifting your belief that, that that possibility already exists, like a radio station that's being broadcast, but you have to tune your frequency into receiving that broadcast. Um, and so that's why in the last video I said you can't feel poor and become rich at the same time. You just can't. They're, they're, it's two different frequencies. You can't ask. You can't experience something, and from the pain of the experience, have a desire for something different, but still feel this experience and have the difference. The 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 question, and the the question that arises from a painful experience, and the answer or solution to your question or to your prayer are on two different radio stations. So you can't you can't experience both simultaneously, so to speak. Um, that being said, another good example is just think about anything that has been built or invented or hasn't been built yet, but is in the, the planning process of where does it all start? Where's the conception or inception? And it's in the, in the brain is an idea as a vision, as a goal or a desire before it ever becomes physically manifested in order to experience between the five senses, 
Uh, and you can get it in different senses and stuff like that. But the five primary senses, taste, touch, feel, smell, and hearing, um, that's what you take for sensory information and it downloads it in your brain and gives you kind of this experience that we think is solid, but it's not really solid. It's more, mostly empty space. Um, and so that being said, before the school was built, you know, they just remade our high school Auburn High. Before it was built, they had to have an idea. They had to have a vision. And then they had to have collective, uh, they had to have, she's looking at the fish. They had to have a co-creation of sorts. You had to get engineers together. You had to get uh, city planners and financial planners and the school district board and all that. Gabe, can you take her into the other room, please? Uh, you had a, can you get her a snack or something? Um, you had to have people come together to uh, create that. And so the same thing with your life, you know. Um, before you get the new car, you got to have the desire for the new car. Uh, and before you get that relationship, you know, Neville Goddard will say, live in the end, you close your eyes and you experience, what is it that you want to experience? You know, and then, and then you, and you fill in as much detail as you can. They say about 30% of people can actually have vivid imagination as far as like real, real fine detail. But they said that it doesn't matter. I mean, a lot of people couldn't tell you exactly how it looks, uh, when they imagine something, but you, you feel your brain knows what it's wanting to look at. So it, it's not as important. But like if you close your eyes and it's like, oh man, I can, I can envision and I can feel laying on this couch with this big room and the sunlight coming in and, the, and it has these French doors that open and the breezes hit me and I live on this property and I can feel the breeze on my face and I could feel the pressure points in my back being, you know, being softened by this couch that I have and I can feel this pillow behind my neck and all that. And you, you know, you start filling in the details. Uh, you start to create a reality in the present moment that you will experience in the future. The only issue is, is that a lot of us continue to feel the same stresses. We continue to think the same thoughts um, and believe the same things because it's logical to us. We think in terms of linearity. There was a time where I said, you know, I want to donate $10 million to Auburn Parks and Recreation for renovations just because Auburn Parks and Recreation baseball was so... Uh, big in my life growing up and I met all my best friends through it um, that being said uh, I was told well you're gonna have to get a really good education get a really good job so you can make that much money to do it and I said to myself well that's in terms of linearity you're on point a and you're trying to get to point z you logically your brain says you got to go through points b c d e f g all the way through y until you get to z well I'll say well what if you're on a bus one day and you have a really you know, great conversation with someone, that meeting leads to them introducing someone else and that person ends up having the finances to do what you want to do and you didn't have to come up with the finances but they really love your idea and it's really passionate for them and they wanted to help out because they're into philanthropy or something and they put up the money. You know, anything's possible, it doesn't mean, but when you start to think of the how, how is it going to happen, that's where you get tripped up. If you can focus on the end result, and move forward each day with the belief, you know, please God guide me or universe guide me or yourself guide you, my, you know, whatever you believe in. Please guide me to the right people in the right places and the right things to help me manifest this thing. Um, because it's a desire that I want, especially if it's one from the heart. Because the heart has such a big, uh, like four times bigger magnetic field than the brain. We won't even get to that right now either. But when you can live through your heart uh, and you can do things through your heart, um, you can manifest really, really quickly other things. And then the last point of the manifestation is how much are you dwelling on it? How much do you want it? A lot of the things that you're constantly dwelling on and wanting it is because you're focused, your actual focus is that you don't have it. So then your lack, uh, your focus on actually a lack. Oh shoot, I don't have it yet. I better focus on it so I could try to get it. Whereas little things that you think about, like, that'd be pretty cool. Or, you know, I wish I could talk to that person. You let it go. You put it out there just like anything else, and then you let it go and you go about your day and you're not even giving it a second thought and all of a sudden that person calls you. Or all of a sudden you run into that, you know, that animal you were thinking about, all of a sudden shows up uh, uh, as a stuffed animal somewhere or on the news somewhere or, you know, you see a car that you've been thinking of but you forgot about. So a lot of the things that you want but then you let go of uh, allows it to manifest quicker because most of the time when you're continuously thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking about something is because your actual focus is not on the thing, but the lack of the thing. Because you're understanding that, man, I really want this and I don't have it yet. So let's think about it more. And so you're coming from a feeling place of not actually having it. So you got to learn 
those things. And that's what I'm going through right now too, is, you know, I have this big vision for myself and my family and extended family and friends, um, that I want to accomplish. Uh, but Eric Thomas had a great video and Eric Thomas said, you know, sometimes you want these things, but are you even preparing yourself for them? Would you even know what to do when you had them? And so kind of like preparing yourself, uh, to receive them, so to speak. And then also understanding that sometimes when you ask for stuff, say your cup is full, when you ask for stuff, uh, God takes stuff out of your life in order to be able to put what you've been asking for in. And so uh, one of the best examples for me is uh, I love my two best friends uh, that I have. And I have many friends, but my two best friends uh, both moved away. And the hardest one for me was when uh, my best friend Garrett moved and uh, his, him and his family moved away. And at that time, I had been asking for um, a better life with my family, more family time, and to be a better dad because I, was so, I wasn't distant or disassociated. I, just, I wasn't spending the time that I wanted to spend with them. And it was right before me and Danielle were getting married, and so I was praying you know, for an opportunity to have the income to pay for the wedding ourselves because I didn't want to ask for you know, the, traditionally the bride's parents you know, paying for the wedding. And so uh, I had been wanting those things, and then my best friend moves away, and it was devastating. It still is, you know, because I love him to death, and I love hanging out. Uh, but that opportunity, uh, one, I was going to his house like five days a week, and so now I didn't have that. Uh, and so it allowed me uh, to spend so much more time with my family and my wife and, and be with my kid at the time, and now we have two kids. Uh, and then two, uh, I absorbed his salary cause we were co-managing a place. So we absorbed each other's salary while well, I absorbed his salary. And I was in a place financially based on just my current, uh, bills at the time that we were able to pay for our wedding. And, uh, it was awesome. Um, but what at the time seemed terrible was actually my full cup being leveled down a little bit, emptied a little bit, so that way God could pour in the stuff I'd been asking for and I had room to receive it. So uh, there's also that that you can consider too, that everything's always working in your favor. Um, so anyone that's struggling with anything right now, just know that everything's working in your favor. So another long video. I'm going to be addicted to this stuff, but I got to clean the house before Danielle gets home. So I love you guys. Have a great day. I'm excited to see any responses, uh, either response videos or just comments of if any of this stuff might have resonated with you or helped you. I'm not posting these so that way we can have debates politically or religiously. Uh, I'm not posting these so that we can spread any sort of negativity, even though negativity is a perceptual based uh, definition of such, because there are certain things that people do that you would say are heinous, but they believe it's completely fine based on their uh, perception. So, um, that being said, though, I'm just posting these videos to hopefully uh, give a different perspective rather than just everything coronavirus related. Uh, and then also post these videos to maybe help. Uh, and then it also helps me. This is one of my passions, actually connecting with people. And so I would love to uh, be full-time retired, uh, making enough income uh, to support my family and my dreams while at the same time uh, helping people. So uh, that being said, have a great day. Uh, the lighting sucks. The, light, the clouds are out now. Uh, and my phone, hopefully this loads up fine because I'm watching myself and my lips are moving like two seconds after I'm actually speaking. So it's kind of tripping me out. Anyways, have a good day, you guys. Love you guys. And I'll talk to you soon.